Peshawar. Located just 55 kilometers from the Afghanistan border, the people that inhabit this land are known as Pashtun or Patan. Peshawar is an ancient city known for cultural and economic hub. And when there's a mixing of cultures, we know that results in some delicious eats. This city is rich with food, dishes that are craved by Pakistanis all over Pakistan and beyond. But today we're going to take you to one restaurant in particular, Charsi Tikka. It is one of the most delicious kadai in Pakistan. That's right, we are going for the karai chicken and mutton here at Charsi Tikka, known for being not only delicious, but known to give you some flour. So come with me today as I take you around Peshawar and show you a restaurant that's been serving up the locals since 1960. So we're over here about the Tessio Park, we've got the Sir Cunningham Tower right over here. And when you get over here, this is when you get the true energy of Pakistan. You can't walk more than a block without people coming up to you saying, hello, how are you? Come drink some tea. This is this area in particular where you get the old architecture, you get this very ancient city vibes, and you get the people that have never met a stranger. So when you come to Pakistan, yes, of course, you're gonna have your chai, your chai, your chai, which is like a milk tea here. But actually in Peshawar, they're more famous for drinking the kawa, which is a green tea. They're gonna add some cardamom to it and some sugar. And right here is where they're prepping and all the chai wallers are coming and grabbing it and taking it to customers all throughout the street. Now, like I said, you should do the kawa when you hear the green tea. You mix it with cardamom and sugar, it's delicious, but I'm more of the dudpati, and Chris is too, so we actually got dudpati chai. You okay with dudpati? I love dudpati, dude is my favorite. <laughs> How we like it. I know. You just can't beat the black tea with a little milk and sugar here. The milk products, the dairy products in general, are just on a different level. Get you about four or five of these a day. Get on the streets, in a restaurant, take a deep breath, and just watch the crowd go by. Well, not for long, because they're going to come talk to you. They might watch you go by. Yeah, they may watch me. And look at the setup. He's got his hot water kind of going right over here. After he adds that, adds the sugar, the tea, or whichever he's making a dew putty or a green. He's got that central flame going in the middle. And then so you can lean and reach everything and do many a time. You see he's got his little, almost like chain hanging from the ceiling. He can grab onto it and lean over. So we're on the street Bazaar Kalan, and it actually connects with Bazaar Mina as well. All these bazaars start to connect and come together. Right now, you've got some materialistic goods, but you can make two or three. Good, how are you? <laughs> but you see, I'm talking about no strangers here. You can make two or three just food videos alone on the single street. You keep walking, you see big whole lambs and chickens hanging from windows. Yes, we're on Namak Mundi, one of the most popular street food stalls in all of Peshawar. And we're here at the next spot we're going, Charsi Tika. You always gotta do it for the TikTok here. <laughs> So this is where they'll do the cooking for the karai. Now we're here early where they're doing all the prep work. There are not gonna be many people here right now, but you can see how many burners they have going here. Pakistan. Zindabad. He says long live Pakistan. Long live the Pakistan military, long live Imran Khan, and long live the shop. Oh, Pak, Poj, Bajwa. Ah, military. Bajwa. Bajwa. Long live the military. Zindabad. Zindabad. I used to be bad. Eh, Ah, Chelsea, six doctor. 
<laughs> he's the sex doctor. Chica caiga, chica, tang, 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 tang. Power, lad. Power body. Power. Special body. Masali, masali, no. Bazari, wori, pakina. Misal, milawot, pakina. Belko, sapa, sutra. Pakistani, tika, milega. So they have the karais going right here. They got all kinds of things. Look at this. Look how hot this is. One. Number one. Chin pen. Chin pen. Chin pen. Number one. Chin pen, number no one. Masali. No masali. No masali. No. No masali. No masali. Number one. And this is where the cooking goes down. So we're getting karai. Karai is a very simple dish. It actually just translates to like the actual dish that they use to cook it in. So a very simple dish. They actually use a lamb, a very special type of lamb here called the dumba. It has more fat on its backside, in the butt, in the tail. Number one. Number one. So, this is the champion. The champion. I just realized he's gotten, he said champion. A1. A1. And they take all that fat, and that's what they're gonna do. They rendered it out, and they're gonna use that fat to cook all their dishes. No added oil, all coming from animals. First steaming that meat by putting two of the karais together. After that's cooked through, they drain the water. They're gonna put the oil in there, and it's very simple. Maybe a few masala mixtures, not much. It's the tomato, it's the onions, it's the green chilies. A very simple, simple dish. Look at the tools they're using with. Almost looks like they got some huge, long handle pliers, and then it's a nice, long spatula. Come on, man. You gotta get in here. You gotta work for your lunch here. You gotta get in here. Look at that sauce getting in there. Look at that stir. Move around, make sure it don't burn. I don't know how they work so fast here. One of the reasons you can't beat the food in here is because you've got a butcher house in here as well. The first man is where you come, you pick what piece you want, he breaks it down, and then they're going to come here and break it into pieces for you. It's not just the food here, it's about the atmosphere. They have this huge center circular thing and all around it there are benches where you can lay out pillows, you can eat so much and lay down, but they've got this whole area. There's a few more restaurants that come in here, but they are definitely the main presence in this like communal eating spot. Okay, now the best part, you get to come out here. Oh wow, I almost fell asleep just sitting down on this right now. I'm definitely gonna pass out after we eat. Now, waiting is part of the process. Nothing's made pre-order at all. You know, they're butchering it. They're starting the cooking process as soon as the order comes in. So, that's okay. We got like these mini beds out here. And just like on every corner, you're gonna have your chai wallet. You're just gonna find a place making bread because they're gonna supply the restaurants on the street and the people that come by for their home.
Well, the bread may be cheap. It's a vital part to the meal. You gotta have your bread to enjoy the meals around here. And this is not easy work. It takes nine people just to run this one stall. And just the smell over here is intoxicating. It's a non bread, so it's got the yeast. It's gonna rise, it's gonna leaven. Then that baking of the wheat, the high heat. Ooh, one of the best smells in the world. Uh, it's, uh, it's made of the tandoor that they were saying, and it's also it's sweet. So they're making it a tandoor though. It's like a sweet tandoor bread. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're giving us a little taster here with the sweet tandoor bread. Oh, oh, very good. Bold Mentidar. Oh my god. It tastes like a very dense angel food cake, but a little bit crunchy. Intense cardamom flavor and touch of sweetness. That would go with some chai just perfectly. I keep finding things about the shop that are more and more impressive to me. Now, not every shop is like this, but this shop is so popular, it is 24 hours, never stops. Thank you. Hey, you're welcome. Hey, English people, not eat. Oh, chips will burger will Chips will burger. Pizza will eat. This is plastic. Misale. Plastic. Kam nahi karega. Aur ye kaega kana? Char shadi. Sham kaega aur rati bara baje na. Tang tang ta ta tang tang. Okay, so we got two types of karai here. We got the mutton and chicken. It's so crazy. I think we ordered some kebabs. I don't know. They may not be here, but no matter what, we're gonna get karai, which is the dish we wanted most. Chris is going to start this off because chicken karai for Chris is the best thing ever. Best chicken karai ever? This one's mutton. <laughs> but it's pretty dang good. And the reason I love this dish so much, this is my favorite Pakistani dish. It's so simple, but it has like everything good about Pakistani cuisine in it. He came over here as soon as Chris said number one. He loves it. Number one. Number one. <laughs> number two. <laughs> <laughs> number one, number, number two. One, number two. Amazing. Just tomato and uh, salt and... Yeah. Just soaked that non in it. Look at that. It's just changed colors. Mm. As our Pakistani friend would say, man. 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 Man, that is the one of the best chicken karats I've ever had. I tell you what is amazing, the flavor that comes from this, from the minimal amount of ingredients I've used. Plain bite, I wanna get everything in here now, so tear off some of that chicken, that green chili that's cooked down. Let's get that yogurt sauce on there. That's the money bite right here. Also picked a terrible day to wear light blue. Oh, that cooling effect from the yogurt, it's creamy, a little bit chunky. Mm. Slightly tangy, and it's got coriander in it. But you can't come here and not get mutton. It'd be a, it'd be a sin not to try the mutton. The way that lamb fat and the tomato, like aroma tomato, have mixed together for a deep, rich flavor that transforms that sauce that green chili cooked in there just slightly but not too long so it's got this snap of freshness to it I just it's amazing how when you have this love and care and use such high quality ingredients you really don't need a lot it's so cool about their cokes here they have it written in the uh, Urdu script coca cola I just thought that was cool I don't know why. Gotta get that bone marrow. I take about 50 more of them right there. Wow. Just pulls right out. 
coat your mouth. Gosh dang it. That, that makes you speak just right there. I'm sorry, Chris. There was only one in there. That's the. Uh, that's what happens when you're the cameraman. Wow. <laughs> Done. 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 Done.